Hello, 5,574 YouTube subscribers. You're watching my favorite YouTube channel. I go by the alias of Chill Monger. And I follow this guy who goes by the alias of Star Wars Theory. It says, George Lucas coming back to Star Wars would be an amazing thing. I hope it happens. Okay, I see what you mean, right? The guy who created Star Wars would be amazing if he was back. Agreeable. Let's see what he says next. He says, you can find my interview with Roger Christian on the channel. Always such a pleasure speaking and learning from him. Huh? What is he going to have linked here? I already saw it, but we're going to see it. Like I didn't already see it. But I think he's coming back. You know, I'm pretty sure now that he's what? doing a series. I think that they're now bringing him into the fold from what i hear because there's a star wars live action series coming and i've got so <laughs> and he's confused so this got my imagination running wild i was thinking about how george lucas recently during the disney proxy war to get nelson pelts on the board uh because bob you know if you don't know you don't know he gave a vote of confident i assure you bob Iger is the guy would he say something like that only because there was something in the works. Because it was kind of odd to hear him say it. He had so many negative things to say about them. But does he have a project that's cooking that a, a new guy would interfere with it? That's what I'm thinking. I'm hoping. I don't have any more solid proof. But what Roger just told us, and we'll keep playing actually. It's coming. And I've got... I've got a strong suspicion that George will have something to do with that. That's what I thinking is, and I might be prophesying. Are you pulling I'm... my leg? No, no. That's what I had heard and read, and, and I don't know from anything apart from I'm... <laughs> Let me read the live chat, actually. It says, chill, don't play. What? Is bro trolling us? Don't do that. Don't give us hope. Nah, Intel weak. What, 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 whoa, 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 don't play with my heart. So it sounds like this would be something interested by a lot of these uh, writers. Some of them have green, so they're they're so much of a Star Wars fan, theory fan, that they pay to be his chill, his members, not his chill members, his members. What do we think? From I'm prophesizing that might happen because you've seen he's been very physically present there. He's been down on the sets yeah, yeah, and everything. Yeah. Uh, He's been down on the sets a couple times, but that's because he's friends with Dave Filoni, who respects him. And if he's is he influencing those stories, maybe? Is that why I like a lot of the live action TV series, not all of them? The ones that he's involved with, is that why I can see how they count as Star Wars? He left this because he wanted to raise a child. Family time. This was back in 2012, years ago. Do I want to spend all, all this time focusing on movies and this in intellectual property? Or do I raise the child? Well, kids age. And it's been so long that now he's not necessarily needed at home to set the foundational uh, years of a child. I don't know how old his kid is, but old enough to where I can believe that he can do a little project here and there, do more travel... Mm. And Dave Filoni has done such a, an incredible job of being George and bringing yeah. back everything yeah. that, that George... It's, he's, it's, he's, it's, I always say, you know, and, and Dave gets a lot of flack just as George did, but he, he, he is the only sort of... The closest thing we have to George there, I think. You, I, and I think John Favreau does a good job, too. I don't know. Yeah, what he does. With, yeah, yeah with no, a few he's, of the projects there, but... Um, yeah, no, he's fantastic. Yeah. And the full stream is there. Oh, it's an hour and 26 minutes to hear what Roger Christian had to say about this uh, project and the whole thing. Um, how believable is it to you guys? Hopeful. Yeah, and it would be nice if Kathleen Kennedy's at the next convention. It'll be in Japan next year. And she goes, um, I'm gonna the producer of this project. Ooh, I'm the but I'm not the producer of that one. Oh, 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 oh Nani. I ask, uh, there's going to be someone else who's going to do a good job. And she's at the convention. There's thousands of people there. Whoa, whoa, who's there? And everyone's murmuring who's going to be. Out walks out Ryan Johnson. <gasps> what? Uh, konnichiwa. 
I'm Ryan Johnson. You guys remember from me from Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. And it is my honor to announce to you the new producer of the Star Wars, George Lucas. Ah! Oh, they were playing with us. Ah! <laughs> That's how I would do it, honestly. Recognize who the fan favorites are versus who are not. So that you get them on an emotional high. Kathleen Kennedy, I'm producing that, I'm producing that, I'm producing that. You're like, ah. But I'm not producing that, huh? And it's going to be this guy. Oh, anticipation. Who's it going to be? Is it Favreau? Is it? Oh, it's Ryan Johnson. He's announcing George Lucas, the maker's back. The emotions that we would be going. That's what I would do. If I was in charge, Bob Iger, you've, you've taken ideas from me before. One of my best ideas I tried to give these guys, if they're watching, is that Disney Plus shouldn't be like Netflix, which is just a library, thumbnails, and click on that, click on that, click on that. Have some character. You have characters. You can invent a character. Call him whatever his initials will be, TV. So I'm making up a name now. Titus um, Vorhe. Titus Vorhe. That sounds like an evil name, but Titus Vorhe. Here he comes. He's on the screen right on the lower corner. And he's like, welcome to Disney+. Plus. Hey, kids, check out this new show. And then, you know, you don't want to watch that. You want to watch like a adult thing, right? And then here comes Titus's dad. Oh, I got it from here, Titus. All right, guys, we know, we know what you want. It's been a long day at work. Check out this, check out that. Like, just have a little guy writing on the corner, a little character, just kind of on the home screen. And you can turn it mute. You can mute it off. You can have it. But it's like a fun, while you're selecting, you know, there's like automatic generated a character. And then one day, that family that you just invented for Disney+, Plus, one day they'll have their own movie. And it'll be familiar characters, so there's already built-in fan base who already like them, who've been laughing at their jokes for years. Now, it's, well, now let's watch the movie. It's so simple. Or you can use your classics, Mickey Mouse. If public domain is going to run up for him and you don't want to use him, go, go Moana. She's relatively new, and you'll have her for 100 years. Use Moana to be there. You see that? You should watch it. Disney. I got ideas for days. George Lucas is a good idea. You can use more. I got 5,574 uh, subscribers, so I must be doing something right.